Ladies and gentlemen, more cores. Well, I think there's been an awful lot of rumours that AMD and Intel will be increasing the core count for some time now, but it does seem very likely that at least one of them will be doing so with the next generation of processors, which are Novalink and also Zen 6 respectively for their desktop implementations. I'm going to start things out with Novalink first, and then we'll move on to Zen 6. So, um, this is actually based on a post that was on Reddit. Unfortunately, the Reddit post is now nuked, but uh, there are actually a couple of other sources for this uh, rumor as well. I'll get into those in just a moment. So HXL or 9550 Pro managed to snag this. Novalake configuration rumors. Novalake-SK, which is 2 by 8 plus 16. Now, if you're not quite certain what these are, basically these are Novalink tiles for the desktop. And essentially we're looking at a 2 plus 16 configuration multiplied by 2. So in other words, we're looking at two sets of eight high performance cores and two sets of, well, what would you call them? E cores, I guess, which is 32 total. So another way of saying this, of course, is 16 plus 32. Then we have Novalake HX, which is just a single one of these. And then we have Novalake S, Novalake H, which is four plus eight. And then Novalake U, which is four plus zero. Now, Intel have officially confirmed that Novalake is going to be launching in 2026, which I don't think is too surprising given the normal release cycle of all of these processors. But obviously they've not confirmed confirm the exact specifications and details. So where do we have the other sources of Nova Lake? Well, I know there's at least a couple and I'm gonna raise my hand up and say that, well, I'm one of them. So just over two months ago, I can't exactly remember the exact time frame to be honest, but it's maybe two, three months ago, I did put out a video and I basically had said this pretty much exact same thing. I'll try to remember to link it in the video, but I think it was something like more cores or something like that was the actual video title. Uh, but basically, I had said that uh, I have been hearing very much that it was a 16 plus 32 configuration for Nova Lake. I wasn't 100%, but uh, it did seem like that was potentially possible. But there is actually another rumor, and that is actually from Everest or Ulrak 29. And this seems to indicate that, yes, to multiply, and again, he's pretty much referencing, of course, the Nova Lake information here. But then there's also 2 by 12. Now, this is where things get kind of interesting, and this moves us into the next generation Ryzen processors, also known, of course, as based on Zen 6. And I've got to tell you guys that I will be following up with the information for Zen 6 because I've been hearing so many conflicting reports. So the earlier rumors that I was hearing is that it is definitely 8 plus 8 again, so 16 cores, 32 threads for the highest end configuration. The difference is, of course, the IOD and various other elements of the next generation Ryzen processors have changed considerably. So long story short, the IOD now, from what I've heard anyway, has essentially low power cores in it to basically handle background tasks and other crap. And obviously there is now homogenization between the desktop and the mobile implementation, allegedly. And there's going to be a lot of differences in basically the packaging technology and other things that don't necessarily pertain to this particular video. So I don't want to drag too much about all that stuff. You can almost think of it a little bit like uh, a preview of this is almost kind of like Sarlacc or uh, N31 to a degree, but with some differences. Basically, all of this is to say that AMD want to try to increase the amount of bandwidth and basically how the caches work and just try to make sure that the, the cores themselves are fed with as much data as possible. Nonetheless, I still have some sources who insist that this information is incorrect. And I have those sources basically tell me that AMD had initially considered this, but were also bumping the core count. Unfortunately, I don't know whether people are getting confused with the core count increase for Zen 6 because there are so many different variants of Zen, not least of which just for server alone. And it's also possible that people are getting confused because again, the IOD core count. So it's possible, for example, and you have to remember guys that when you're dealing with these leaks, not everyone speaks the same language as you. And I'm not, you know, this is not an insult to anyone. Like, I can't speak Chinese. My German is, well, I, I can understand little bits here and there, but I'm just going to say, essentially, I'm, I'm crap at it. And, yeah, I'm basically boned in pretty much any language other than English and sarcasm. So, 
I can't really blame people for not having perfect English. And so this can be an issue because when you're like discussing something with someone else and their English isn't 100% and maybe you have to sometimes use Google Translate and you're dealing with stuff. And that's to say nothing of just misinformation as a whole. But basically, the, essentially speaking, um, from what I can understand, there's a few possibilities for Zen 6. One is that the core counts are identical. So it's still 8 plus 8, but there's the IOD. But another source, or at least in a couple of sources, plus Everest here, uh, Ulrich, um, seem to be indicating that perhaps actually the core counts have increased. And the one way you could say that this actually made some sense is that if you were to say, well, gosh, if the Intel rumor is true, and obviously there's that big asterisk here because Intel haven't exactly been the best when it comes to actually having products that release on store shelves. Falcon Shaw now apparently says hi. Um, you could say, well, look, even if their IPC is a little lower than Zen, hypothetically, they're going to have such a multi-thread advantage because, well, they've got so many more bloody cores. So maybe that could be a thing. The other, the other factor, of course, is would they even be able to feed all of these cores? Because, yes, there is all of the advancements that we're seeing for Intel as well as AMD's new processors, and that's great, but uh, ignoring just actually feeding the cores from a cash perspective and just all of the, the the crap that goes into that just the memory bandwidth alone from let's say ddr5 or what have you that's going to be really interesting so i'm going to be very intrigued to see what happens and that's to say nothing of things like power consumption as well with that said guys i'm putting this video out i'll try to do more digging um, and try to find out more information. Apologies, by the way, for this being a shorter video and also not being on camera. I will be honest, I'm essentially half dead today from all of the RTX 5080 review stuff that I was doing over the past several days. It had some long nights. It was very fun, though, I will admit, and there's going to be a lot more reviews and a lot more analytical content coming on the channel. But uh, for now, I'm going to let you all go. So have a great day, take care of yourselves, and obviously, if you're not already subscribed, it's YouTube. Subscribe. No, click the button. <laughs> click it. All right, take care. Bye for now.